All right, guys, welcome to your next video. In the last video, we uh, done a time, or we uh, we said we'd talk about time interpolation, but we essentially just played around with the value animator, moving it up and down, moving its position around, inverting the fraction, using the fraction to calculate our own place. So let's talk about time interpolators. So a time interpolator essentially calculates how far or it calculates how far uh, is what I'm mixing up my words here. The time interpolator calculates the fraction relative to the amount of time actually passed. So the duration of this animation is going from zero to eight thousand. The time interpolator calculates what fraction or how far we've gone. So the reason we're using we uh, can see a time interpolator is you can see that the fraction is not moving at a smooth rate. It's speeding up and then it's slowing back down again automatically at the ends so what's happening there is the fraction is not being reported evenly the interpolator is wrong so we can set our own interpolator and there's a bunch of interpolators you can use in a android there's a huge amount of them there's a linear interpolator accelerate interpolator accelerate decelerate interpolator anticipate interpolators uh, relative ones they're, they're crazy but anyway now the animation should be perfectly linear and as you can see it's a perfectly smooth and anim our smooth animation because we changed the interpolator let's try the an an anticipate overshoot interpolator so this one's a bit wonky this is a really interesting interpolator do you see that it went above 200 and then it's going to look so that was really interesting what happened there the ant anticipate overshoot interpolator goes starts the start position goes back overshoots and then comes back so essentially it kind of bounces it backwards and forwards that's a really funny one i've never found an actual use for this in an app but you never know so it rises up to 24 goes all the way back down goes up to 24 and back to zero that's a really cool interpolator so we're animating from 0 to 200. Let's actually move the view. Watch this. Let's set the translation Y. And we can't, we'll make this position a float. Okay, so there's no need to cast this back to an int. And essentially what we're going to do is now we're just going to move the view up and down. So translation Y will translate the view off and then move it into position. So let's see how that looks. But essentially we've covered value animators. The interpolators is the only thing you can really get stuck on now. But now you can see, look, the view is moving. We're translating the view up and down. And you can see the anticipate interpolator. We'll actually set this to 500 just to make it a little better. But you can see the anticipate interpolator is pushing it up and down. So we'll just uh, create a linear interpolator for now. But you can customize the time interpolator and do some maths inside of it to figure out your own rate of change. So you can actually use your own formulas and things. So as you can see, now we're just animating the view around the screen. Voila. That's interpolation. Very, very simple. Very cool. Interpolators are very nice, and the interpolators power the actual uh, animators. They tell, they essentially translate the amount of time passed into the fraction, and then the animator itself translates the fraction into whatever property we want and its position. That's all it is. That's your value animators, and I think that's it for this video. Uh, I might do a time interpolation video in the future, but that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, just to remind you, these animators are only available in Android 3.0 and higher. But uh, if you want them on Android 2.3, you can use the Android library, 9 Old Androids. It's amazing. You should totally check it out. Anyway, guys, as always, it's been a good talk. And I'll see you out there.